Hi sisters, today we're going to be talking about a creator who threatened to sexually assault my girlfriend and I. Also subscribe because if you haven't, then I'll make a video about you. About a month ago, I made a video about someone named Wrestling Otaku. He made a video called My List of Requirements for Women to Date Me, and it went a little something like this. All right, so next up, oh, it's a big one. Next up, a woman must be willing and ready to give me sex anytime I want it. Good, classic. My girlfriend Hannah and I talked about this a little bit and I was sort of proving to her like what she wants in a guy doesn't matter because it's all about what the guy wants, baby. Now I did some deep, deep, deep research for this video. Wrestling Otaku is 33 years old from Columbia, Maryland. He's been making videos for about five years now and he made a response video to me filled with threats. I'll get to that later. Let's go back a little bit. After releasing this video about his requirements for women to date him, Wrestling Otaku who made a video called Oops, I Did It Again, got the internet triggered, which I think is hilarious. I think it's hilarious that in the description he says, got you all yet again, LMAO. Almost like this is a character that he's playing. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's get to it, man. Okay. Let's get right into it. Okay. Let's get right into oh, it, Oh, you already man. said that, though. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just crazy laughing. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. Normally, I wouldn't comment about this, but wow, that thing is fascinating. I have a history of chronic Lyme disease. That could very well be a tick, okay? I don't know what kind of tick that is, but that could give you some kind of disease that you deal with for the rest of your life, or it could just be a mole. Specifically, you women. What? And all you white 90 f***ing sipping douchebags, you are so easy to f***ing trigger. You are so easy to trigger, and I got you again. What? I got you again. You got me again? Like, this is something that you plotted out? I don't think you've ever plotted anything in your life, Wrestling Otaku, or should I call you Trevor? Because that's your name, so I'll call you Trevor. I told you I did a lot of research. Uh, about two weeks ago, I did a video here on the channel basically talking about my list of requirements for dating mm -hmm. a list of requirements that i have for women if they want to date me okay and i gave my reasons why because i am done with the dating scene why is there so much spit built up in your mouth let me replay this for one second what the shit is on your bottom lip right now this video has spread like wildfire True. it was already in the 1k 2k range that within, is wildfire like, the first week but now within the past two days it has gotten a slew of viewership. Now I'm getting word, whole bunch of people sending me stuff, whole bunch of people telling me in comments. Later on, Trevor talks about his experience with other people making videos about him. Uh, off of one of my clips. Yeah. And as I told this individual on Twitter when I first saw this, hey, thanks for spreading the word. I just wish you'd give me some of the royalties for all the f***ing views you're getting off of my off of my stuff. Off of your stuff because it's so important. Also, Twitter royalties. Royalties? What is happening? All the royalties off of your stuff? Your video got 10,000 views and I was talking about it because I thought it was funny. I thought it was insane from some words like that to be coming out of your mouth. And in the past couple days, specifically the past two days over the weekend, okay. I've gotten fucking talk shit about, belittled, got people wanting you know uh uh basically encouraging cyberbullying encouraging cyberbullying well that's hilarious because <laughs> wait till you hear the video that he made about me i'm gonna be honest i don't think that i'm a phenomenal person yes have i taken it too far in videos of course but that's part of the fucking reason you're subscribed okay what this guy said in his video about me is so much worse than anything that i said wow i got you guys triggered again what for the second time now what for the second time the first time was two and a half years ago back in 2020 with the 10 reasons why women are trash video and now i'm glad that there's another version of this this is your second video of calling women disgusting and trash you tricked us again i got you guys here two two and a half years later first couple days of 2023 and i got your asses again got you triggered again i got the internet triggered again okay <laughs> did it again, man. Yep. I did it again. I yep. got you all butt hurt and all up in your feelings again. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I was not expecting a Britney moment. I'm going to be honest. Just a little bit of oops, I did it again. Good dance. I played with your heart. Still going. Da, 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 da. Did it again. Mm -hmm. Did it again. And for what? Because of a satirical video that I made? For anybody that doesn't know, how is it? The reason why I put it that, let, let me just state this right now. Okay. 
because these motherfuckers are trying to sit here and twist and misconstrue my words. Okay, I'm open the to a conversation. The reason I put that video out there in the first place was basically to prove a point. You see, I'm, I'm showing you how women fucking are. The reason why I made that video in the first place, and I've stated this in the past, is that women, quite frankly, of this era have unrealistic, unfucking realistic expectations. Do they? Or do people just not want to be with you? What do you mean they have unrealistic expectations? You're saying that the reason you made that video is because women have such high expectations? So there is truth in what you're saying. It wasn't satirical. You were just stating something. <laughs> also, I'll prove it later in the video why I don't think that this is satirical, but like this is a video that he posted and deleted called I want to eat out Charlotte Flair, who's apparently a wrestler. This guy's a wrestling channel, I guess. So you're telling me that your sexualization of women is like, I don't know where. No, this is an actual video you posted, man. And after saying that this was all satirical, he also said this in the same video. Most of the things that I stated there were, what, what did I say? I said that most of the things I stated there were negotiable, right? Because it is, I, I'm a negotiable guy. I'm a reasonable person. You bitches are not, unre your bitches are not reasonable with the shit you do at all. <laughs> What? Where is this going? What are you saying, man? None of this makes any sense. You're like, I'm a reasonable guy, and this fucking fat guy, right? Like, what? What are you saying, dude? Hey, I'm a reasonable guy, but if it means death upon all women, I'm for it. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. And you bitches, all you're doing is proving to me that everything I said about you was right. Everything I fucking said about you from the beginning was fucking right. Well, now I'm starting to be a little spooked. I'll try to watch the rest of this video. I I'm sorry. Let's just keep going. What I bring? What the fuck you bring? Okay, the I don't fuck know. What you bring? I don't know. Seriously. Okay, sorry. <sighs> no wonder, mother. No wonder these. No wonder these fucking bitches are in abusive relationships and all that. Shit. And <laughs> Your video was satirical. But no wonder you're in an abusive relationship. You should get out of that. It's easy. <laughs> Holy shit. And I really don't want to bring this up. I really don't want to put this out there. But what the fuck ever. Somebody gets offended. If you get offended or triggered, whatever. All right. Well, that's good. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little offended or triggered. The next video that Wrestling Otaku, aka Trevor, made about this previous satirical video is called The Bitch List. Jake Doolittle. Here we go, baby wearing the same shirt he always wears. Yo! Oh, that's a pen. Listen! Sorry, excuse me, that's a pen. Listen! Yo! Yo! Check it! Oh, so this ain't gonna now. be a freestyle. It's not gonna be a freestyle. Special little video here, courtesy of the rest of Otaku, your personification of excellence. On YouTube in the IWC, Kingpin the O Dog. The personification of excellence. I'm glad that that's your intro because when I look at you, that's what I see. When I hear you speak, that's what I hear. All of your thoughts come across as excellent. <laughs> and I'm bringing back a special, okay, special burial video series. Okay. One that I call the Bitch List. The Bitch List. So for today's inaugural edition. Oh. Well, he just said he was bringing back a series and then he called it the inaugural edition. So sorry. I really shouldn't be picking it apart this much, but wait till you hear what he says. I'm here to call out a certain somebody okay. who I guess considers himself a commentary channel. I guess this guy thinks he's a big deal. When have I ever said that I'm a fucking big deal? I've never been a big deal in my entire life. The only time that I thought that I was a big deal was when the pretty girl in middle school pushed me around in my wheelchair, okay? That's the only time that I felt good about myself. <laughs> but today's about to be cut down to size. Okay, am I going so back Jay to my wheelchair? So little. What up, homie? Hi. Seems like you got a problem with the rest of the otaku. I do, I'm gonna be honest, I do have a little bit of a problem with you. I personally believe that your viewpoints are not great. I think that they're skewed. I don't know what you've been watching or listening to that has hindered your thoughts on women. And I feel really bad for you, but I do have a problem with what you're saying. You got a problem? Oh. With my requirements yes. video. Yes, that's what I just which, said. Which, by the way, as I've stated multiple times, is a joke video on not being serious. What? You dumb f**k. Oh, sorry. But Jake Doolittle, 
Let me tell you something, you weak ass, pasty face, suburban living fucking white boy. Weak ass. My ass is not weak. It's anything but, okay? Pasty face. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> my lighting does not help. Is this better, Mr. Taku? Or this because I'm so angry? Jesus, man. Suburban living because I've grown up in privilege my entire life, you know? Besides the privilege of the color of my skin, I've had it easy. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> something straight out the Disney channel with your goofy ass, with your goofy ass glasses. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you slow down the roasts here? I'm trying to break it down step by step. All right. You're saying that I look like I'm from a Disney movie? Thank you very much. <laughs> Have you ever seen Sterling Knight? He fucking slabs. You ever seen Pair of Kings? They're beautiful. <laughs> Then you say my goofy ass glasses. What, what are these, man? What are these? It looks, <laughs> you look like you're auditioning for Top Gun the musical, okay? I don't know what that look is. Yo, lame man, fucking third grade haircut. What, third grade? You wanna have a problem with the rest of the talk, right? Yes. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Oh, I heard the cat. You and that ugly ass trick girlfriend of yours who was in the video, y'all both can do yourselves a favor and check yourself before you wreck yourself, mm -hmm. before I straight up clock your dumb ass and have you both sucking on that otaku D. So how does that work, first of all? Also, calling Hannah ugly, it's a thing that everybody has done throughout my entire career on YouTube. And I find it hilarious because all these people who say that look like that fucking guy. You all look the same. What the hell? I've been in a relationship for eight years. You <laughs> trying to hold back just a little bit. But what the fuck, man? You're saying that we need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. First of all, you're going to punch us at the same time. We're both going to suck on your ah. simultaneously without wanting to, right? So you're basically saying that you want to assault us, which is really cool. You want to punch us, you want to knock us out, you want to like abuse us, and then we're going to suck on your ah. which is super cool because nobody's ever fucking done that for you. I know damn well, Jake Doolittle, you damn sure ain't going to say none of this to my face. I would absolutely say it to your face. What the f***? Ah. People always think that I like shy away. I'm the... <laughs> I'm the first person to say something to you in public. There are people who I know who do sh things that I call them out on and then they never talk to me again. I have no friends because if they do something, sh I call them out on it. Because, you know, college age kids can't uh, understand their faults. Anyways. And in fact, I even left a comment on your little bitch ass video on your lame ass channel and you had no reply. <laughs> He's so mad. He wanted to, me to reply to his comment. Here was his comment, by the way. And the reason why I didn't respond to it was because it got held for review. They thought that it was a threat. YouTube auto filtered this out of my comment section. I had to dig deep for this. He said, LMAO at this failed attempt of a response video. Dude, you straight up look like someone right off the Disney channel with your nerdy, goofy, white paint, drywall looking self. XD, man. You know that it's a good roast when you end it in XD. Get your square ass on somewhere. Trust me, you don't want this smoke at all. LMAO. Now, listen, I would not be surprised if I needed to file a restraining order on this guy at some point. Like he seems like the kind of person to take it too far, take it off the internet, find me, you know, hurt me. Also, nice job doxing yourself in the description, you goo, LOL. Want to see my description? It's just my PO box. You think I put my actual address, Trevor? You think I put my actual address? That's something you would do, Trevor, and I'll prove it to you. In this video where you say that you triggered people again with a couple more context clues, you made it this easy to find where you're recording. Please protect yourself. Please, I'm begging you. People are f***ing crazy. I don't think that you're a phenomenal person, but you made it so easy for me to find this location. Here's this little bus stop. Oh, good. Found it on Google Maps. Oh, here's this building. Same windows. Yeah. Oh, good. Found it on Google Maps. Down here is a little pathway where he was recording. Oh, good. Found it on Google Maps. Stop worrying about me doxing myself. Please focus on yourself. Let's finish this video. Typical bitch behavior. I know. I know. I get but it. There you go. I get so it. So quite frankly, that's all I got to say on this weak white body. I don't even okay, great. Well, I'm glad that you finished what you had to say two minutes in. That was a really good fucking diss track, okay? <laughs> and honestly, I'm not trying to take this off the internet. I'm going to warn you with this, okay? Yes, I would say to your face, but if you try to come after me, I it and I'll be like, yeah, with this like bullshit, that. I'm scared to fucking death of you, okay? I tried to do a deep dive on his channel and I discovered that he deleted all of his pre-2022 videos. And then he just continued to post these, which are some of his most viewed videos. Oh, I love it.
Oh, damn. Okay, come on. Take that off your channel. What are you doing? Trevor's also one of these people who has like a million channels. His most viewed video is on his hentai review channel. His most viewed video is what he considers an erotic scene of a character who's 17 years old, man. <laughs> what the f His other most viewed video? <laughs> What the sh dude? By the way, the guy in this is also 17, so. He also posts like these texting stories, which I think are really nice. Um, Just for a little context, you have to type these out and then make it look like these characters are talking back and forth. So Wrestling Otaku, Trevor, really did type this. All right, well, that's good. Now listen, I don't think that Wrestling Otaku is a bad person. I think that he is possibly chronically online and just needs a little bit of guidance, right? He's made a million videos talking about how Donald Trump is bad, the right is bad, but women need to stay in their place. Again, after doing some very, very deep research, he voted Democrat and he's voted Democrat since the 08 election. I'm sorry, I went a little hard. Once he started talking about Hannah, that's sort of what happens in my brain. But like, I don't know what to do because this is a video of him watching watching TV on Thanksgiving for 15 minutes, eating by himself. But I think that he might have just done this to himself because again, in doing research, his grandmother seemingly lived with him who recently passed away in 2020, which is terrible. I also believe that his mother and possibly his sister live with his mother successful in the medical field. He has been surrounded by women seemingly his entire life and he's eating Thanksgiving dinner by himself. And it makes me really, really sad for him. So here's my suggestion. Do something else. Please take a break because this kind of makes me really sad for you. Now, I understand that you're probably going to make a video about me saying that you want to assault my girlfriend again, but that's fine, okay? Also, I usually don't respond to videos like this, but I think that there may be a glimmer of hope, possibly. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm insane. Anyways... <laughs> That was a detailed video. <laughs> Holy sh I hope you all enjoyed. Also, thank you to all my members for supporting me. I will talk to you later. Bye.